Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a healthy masala makhana recipe, an ideal healthy gluten-free snack which can be enjoyed in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipe. To make masala makhana into a cast iron kadai, I'm adding in 2 tablespoon A2 desi ghee. Instead of A2 desi ghee, you can use any wood pressed oil of your choice. Once the ghee is heated, I'm adding in half teaspoon jeera, also known as cumin seeds. And once the jeera splutters, reduce the flame to the lowest and add in 150 grams of makhana. On medium to low flame, I am lightly roasting the makhana. It should take about 5 to 7 minutes. And you need to make sure that the makhana is nicely roasted. Makhanas are also known as fox nut or lotus seeds. They have a very low glycemic index and they are completely gluten free. They are also high in protein and low in calories. Hence ideal for a snack to include in your weight loss journey. It's about 7 minutes and it has started to get roasted. So I'm just taking a makhana and then I'm crushing it with my fingers. And you can see that it is easily crushed. So this shows the makhana is nicely roasted. I'll just take one more and crush it with my fingers like this and it is easily crushed so this shows that the makhana is roasted really well on low flame i'm adding in some masala so first i'm adding in half teaspoon turmeric powder today i'm using wygon turmeric which has high curcumin content Next, I'm adding in half teaspoon freshly ground black pepper powder. Black pepper helps in better assimilation of the active ingredient in turmeric known as curcumin. Into this, I'm adding in one teaspoon Kashmiri chili powder, one third teaspoon garam masala, half teaspoon jeera powder, also known as roasted cumin powder, pink Himalayan salt as needed, half teaspoon amchur powder, also known as dry mango powder, and give this all a good mix. Once nicely mixed, turn off the flame and immediately transfer to another bowl. Once the makhana has cooled down completely, you can store it in an airtight glass container and you can enjoy this as a healthy snack. Today I am sharing a healthy peanut ladoo with just three ingredients. No added ghee or oil or refined sugar. Easy to make at home and healthy. So let's get started with the recipe. To make healthy peanut ladoo, into my small chutney grinder, I'm adding in about 7 to 8 cardamoms and I'm just crushing them. Once the cardamoms are crushed, peel off the skin. Grind the seeds to a powder. Once ground, keep this aside. The flavor of freshly ground cardamom powder is amazing in this recipe, so try not to skip it. I have heated my cast iron kadai and into that I'm adding in 1 and 1 fourth cups of raw peanuts. So this is 1 and 1 fourth cups of raw peanuts and I'm going to roast the peanuts on medium to low flame. Roasting the peanuts helps to release the phytic acid content. It helps to release the natural healthy fats that is the natural oil in peanuts and also helps to make it crunchy and crispy. I'm using a heavy bottomed cast iron kadai so it retains more heat. You can also roast the peanuts in an oven. And once the peanuts are roasted, remove it to a plate. Allow the peanuts to cool down and then peel off the skin. To peel the skin, I am just rubbing the peanuts with a clean cotton napkin while the peanuts are still warm. Once the skin is removed, I have added the peanuts into my dry blender jar and I am pulsing it a couple of times to make it into a coarse powder. The peanuts are coarsely ground. I am going to pulse it again till it uh, starts to release its oil. So I have again pulsed it a couple of times and the peanuts are now ground. So I am mixing it with a spoon. To know whether the oil has started to release out, I am just taking a small 
handful of the peanuts, ground peanuts and I'm just seeing whether it can form into a ladu. And as you can see it can form into a ladu. So that means the oil has started releasing out. So at this stage I'm going to add in the next ingredient. Also note that the peanuts are not ground super fine. It has a slight coarse texture. Into this I'm adding in half cup organic jaggery. I have crushed the jaggery and added into the measuring cup. You can use jaggery powder instead. I'm using organic jaggery which does not have any sand or dust particles. Hence I'm adding it directly into the blender. Next add in the ground cardamom powder. Freshly ground cardamom powder. And I'm going to blend all this again. Since I'm using a high speed blender, just a couple of uh, pulses is needed to blend all this together. Peanuts and jaggery are nicely blended and I'm going to transfer it to a plate. Mix it lightly with your hand. Roll into small lattes. You don't need any extra oil or ghee or refined sugar to make this ladoo super healthy and tasty. The healthy fats in the peanuts and the jaggery will help to bind and make it into a smooth and soft ladoo. See how smooth the ladoo is. You can see that it is shiny on the top. That is because of the healthy fats or healthy natural oil in peanuts which has been released when the peanuts were ground. There is no need to grease your hand with oil or desi ghee. The natural healthy fats in the peanuts is enough to make it into a smooth and shiny ladu. The best part about this ladu is that the whole family can enjoy it. So guys do try this healthy peanut ladu and uh, let me know how it turned out. Today I am Thank sharing you. a healthy matri recipe made with bajra also known as pearl millet. Bajra is gluten free and is a highly nutritious millet. This healthy matri can be enjoyed as a snack by the whole family. It can also be had as a travel snack. Let's get started with the recipe. To make bajra matri, I am freshly grinding some black pepper corns. So into my stone grinder, I am adding in 1 teaspoon whole black pepper corns. I am grinding this to a fine powder. Once ground, keep this aside. You can increase or decrease black pepper powder to suit your taste. Into a bowl, I'm adding in 3 cups of bajra flour, also known as pearl millet. So that is 3 cups of bajra flour. Bajra is gluten free and is a good source of fiber. It's rich in magnesium, potassium, iron and recent studies have shown that bajra has cancer protecting properties. So try to include bajra in your diet when they are available in season locally. And to this add in 1 tablespoon ajwain also known as carom seeds. When you are adding ajwain add it into your palm and lightly crush and add so that the flavors are released. Half teaspoon jeera also known as cumin seeds. Ajwain and jeera helps with digestion and also will give a nice flavor to the matri. 1 and 1 fourth teaspoon pink Himalayan salt or as needed. 1 tablespoon organic kasuri methi. Kasuri methi is nothing but dried methi leaves. Crush the kasuri methi and add it in. The freshly ground black pepper powder. Half teaspoon organic turmeric powder. Today I am using Vigon turmeric which has high curcumin content. Also note that black pepper helps in better assimilation of the active ingredient in turmeric known as curcumin faster into your body. And with my hand I am mixing all this really well into the bajra flour. Into this I am adding in one third cup wood pressed groundnut oil. Healthy cooking is all about using the right quality of oils. Try to use wood pressed oils in your diet. Healthy fats like wood pressed oils helps in better assimilation of fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, K, E and D. So try to include wood pressed oils in your diet for better health and for better nutrient absorption. And with my hand I am mixing all this really well. I am rubbing the oil into the flour. Take it in your hand like this and rub it like this. 
Make sure that the oil is nicely incorporated into the flour. This is an ideal healthy snack to munch on during the winters. It's an ideal travel snack. Bajra is gluten free and a highly nutritious millet which should be included in your diet when they are in season. And once nicely mixed, it should have a coarse sand like texture. When you press it tightly, it should hold a shape. And this is how you can know that uh, the oil has incorporated well into the flour. Press it tightly and it should retain the shape. Add in 3 4 cup water little by little and I'm going to knead it into a soft dough. Add water little by little and knead it into a tight but soft dough. I have kneaded it into a tight but soft dough and once it has been kneaded to a soft dough I'm going to keep this to rest for about 30 minutes cover and let it rest for 30 minutes after 30 minutes the dough has rested really well so i'm just kneading it a couple of times i'm greasing my hand with the wood pressed groundnut oil to roll the matris pinch off a small dough and lightly roll it and make an indention with your thumb. A small piece of dough, roll it between your palms and make an indention with your thumb. Prick them with a fork. To fry the matris, I am heating a small cast iron kadai with uh, wood pressed groundnut oil. I am just checking whether the oil is ready. If it sizzles and comes up almost immediately, then the oil is ready. Remove it from the oil. Reduce the flame to the lowest and then add in the matris. I added 12 small matris in one batch. I prefer to use a small kadai when I am deep frying. My idea is small kadai means less oil but you may need more batches to fry. I personally don't prefer to reuse oil hence this works well for me. Carefully flip it over. You need to fry this in low flame only then the matris will become crisp. And because you have pricked it with the fork, it will not puff up. That also helps to make it crispy. If you don't prick the matri with fork, it will puff up like this. And that will create a hollow like this and the insides will not be thoroughly cooked. So you need to make sure that you prick it with a fork before you fry the matri pieces. While the matris are frying, I am rolling some more and keeping it aside. And once the matris are crispy and golden brown, remove to a plate. You can see how crispy and crunchy these matris are. And my healthy matri is ready to serve. This will stay good for up to a month if kept in an airtight glass container. Today I am sharing a no oil, no ghee, no refined sugar and a grain free healthy laddu recipe. This laddu does not contain any grains like rice, millets, oats or wheat. A super healthy and nutrient dense laddu and a perfect healthy snack for the whole family. So let's get started with the recipe. To make no oil, no ghee and grain free laddus with sesame seeds also known as elda in Malayalam. I am using 2 cups of unroasted sesame seeds which is 300 grams of sesame seeds. 3 4 cup of almonds also known as badam. Now instead of almonds you can use any nut of your choice like peanuts, cashew nuts, walnuts, any nut you have at hand. Half cup tightly packed grated coconut. This is fresh grated coconut. 
वन कप जैगरी आई एम यूजिंग ऑर्गेनिक जैगरी विच डज नॉट हैव एनी सैंड और डर्ट और डस्ट पार्टिकल्स सो वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई क्रश द जैगरी एंड मेशर्ड इन द कप सेवन टू एट कार्डमम्स सो दीज आर द इनग्रीडियंट्स आई एम यूजिंग टू मेक दिस लड्डू देर इज नो ऑयल और घी और रिफाइंड शुगर नीडेड इन दिस लड्डू फर्स्ट आई एम क्रशिंग द कार्डमम्स वंस क्रश्ड रिमूव द स्किन and grind the seeds to a fine powder once ground keep this aside next time roughly chopping the almonds once chopped keep this aside i'm heating a cast iron kadai and i'm adding in the sesame seeds and i'm lightly toasting the sesame seeds on medium flame sesame seeds is one of the best source of healthy natural fats the omega fatty acids present in sesame seeds helps to promote hair growth and also helps to repair hair damage sesame seeds has anti aging properties and also helps to boost your skin health sesame seeds are also a good source of omega 6 they also contain fiber iron calcium magnesium and phosphorus they also helps to balance our hormones and make sure you stir the sesame seeds uh, we don't want the seeds at the bottom to be burned since i'm using a heavy bottomed cast iron kadai it retains more heat so it's ideal to keep on stirring it this is a very healthy grain free and refined sugar oil and ghee free laddus which the whole family can enjoy children and adults can equally enjoy this healthy laddu especially during this season sesame seeds helps to keep your body warm so it's ideal to have as a winter snack once the seeds cracks and are roasted well transfer to a plate next time roasting the chopped roughly chopped almonds and i'm roasting the almonds on low flame roasting the almonds will help to release the natural healthy fat in almonds faster and also helps to release the phytic acid content once the almonds are roasted transfer to a plate and lastly i'm adding in the half cup tightly packed fresh grated coconut roast the coconut until it starts to turn light golden brown in color Roasting the coconut will help to preserve the laddu so it is highly important that you roast the coconut and add it into the laddu only then the laddu will stay good for up to a month once the coconut has roasted and has started to turn light golden brown in color remove it from the kadai allow all the three roasted ingredients to cool down completely and once it has cooled down add it into the dry mixer grinder i'm using my high speed mixer grinder make sure you add the almonds first along with the coconut i have kept aside half cup of the roasted sesame seeds add in the ground cardamom seeds and i'm going to coarsely grind all this I pulsed it a couple of times and it is coarsely ground. Grind it for about 30 to 40 seconds or until everything is nicely mixed. And once ground, this is how it looks. The natural healthy oil or fat has started to release out. And when you press it tightly, it will hold into a round shape. So what happened is when you ground the ingredients the healthy fats in the ingredients released out and that helps to bind and you can easily roll it into laddus without adding any extra oil or ghee into this i'm adding in 1 cup of organic jaggery the jaggery i'm using does not contain any sand or dirt or dust particles so i'm adding it directly into the ingredients you can increase or decrease jaggery as per your sweetness you can increase up to 1 and 1/2 cups and now i'm going to blend again until everything is nicely mixed giving it a couple of pulses after adding the jaggery
and now everything is nicely mixed so I'm going to transfer it to a bowl transfer the ground ingredients to a bowl into this I'm adding in the half cup roasted sesame seeds which I have kept aside and with my hand I'm mixing all this really well Sesame seeds, almonds and coconut has natural healthy fats and that is enough to help it bind and roll it into a laddu. At this stage you can check sweetness and if you feel you need more sweetness you can add in. And mix it really well with your hand so that the roasted sesame seeds which we have kept aside is nicely incorporated into the ingredients. And once nicely mixed roll it tightly into a ladu. You just need to tightly roll it into a ladu. And there is no need to grease your hand with desi ghee or oil. Roll it really tight into a round ladu. And then roll it like this with both your hands so that it forms into a nice round shape. And you can see that the ladu is smooth and glossy on the surface. Perfectly smooth and glossy ladus. And no one will guess there is no refined sugar or desi ghee or oil in the super healthy ladus. The best part is it is completely grain free. So I'm going to roll the ladus. And when you roll the ladus, make sure you roll it tightly. perfect ladus. I have rolled out the ladus. I got around 18 ladus with this recipe. I rolled it into slightly large ladus. If you are rolling it into medium sized ladus you will get roughly about 20 ladus. You can see that the ladus are smooth and glossy. Not a single drop of desi ghee or oil is needed to make this healthy ladu. Let me just show you how soft this ladu is and super healthy loaded with natural healthy fats so guys do try this healthy ladu and uh, let me know how it turned out thank you for watching and until next time take care bye bye